Hello, 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 and welcome to 12th House Tarot. My name is Renee, and today we are going to do a pick a pile reading for blah, 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 blah. Mercury Retrograde. See, I can't even say the word. So here's the deal with Mercury Retrograde. Uh, we're either going to have people having misunderstandings between each other, uh, sometimes relationship breakdowns, or just breakdowns in general within our own inner foundations. And this is also a time for not only miscommunications, maybe people from your past will pop up. For example, I was at work this week and in two different occasions, I had two different teachers who taught me. One was a coach for volleyball and another one was my history teacher. And I, I hadn't seen them since like 2009. <laughs> so like, yeah, going that back, uh, back in the day, uh, it was just weird. Honestly, I was hoping they wouldn't even notice who I was because, you know, my natural hair is actually really short. And like, this is a wig I'm wearing. And I was hoping they wouldn't recognize me. But the coach was like, do I know you? And I was like, yeah, are you a, were you a coach for volleyball at the junior high? And she was just like, yeah. And it was just awkward. And then my history teacher, she, uh, yeah, it was just awkward because like I was really good at school kind of thing. Well, with history, English, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I really liked her class and I was kind of like, oh God, she sees me working at Sally Beauty. <laughs> I don't know. It just brought up a bunch of stuff for me personally, but things can, can be coming up from your past, you know, just to uh, see where you are foundationally, to see if you've grown any and to, uh, like for me personally, it dealt with self-worth. <laughs> so yeah, that was my little situation. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this. We got three items. We got some scissors. This will be for group one. And then, like, we got this little pink eraser. I don't know. I wanted to do something a little different. I got a little pink eraser. This is going to be for group two. And then for group three, we have a pencil. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to see, like, what it is that you is coming up for you right now with this Mercury retrograde. We actually have a bunch of planets going into retrograde for this month. This is also a timeless reading because, uh, you know, energy is timeless. It whips and flows and all that good jazz. So whenever you see this or hear this, this is meant for you right now. So we're going to go ahead and go for group one and we will have timestamps down below. So group one with the scissors and here we go. So we're going to go ahead and see what's currently going on within your uh, situation that's kind of out of your control. What is the energy of group one? What is going on in their current situation? What is going on in group one's current situation? Oh, shoot. I think these two want to come out. Okay. So we have the two of inspiration. I don't know if you can see that. We have the ten of materials in the reversal. My lighting's not that great. I really need to work on that, y'all. Okay, let's get two more for the current situation. This bottom one wants to come out. The Emperor and the Reversal. And one more for the current situation. The Ten of Voices. Okay, so you got Ten Ten, which is funny because I was actually feeling that kind of energy. Like I was seeing the numbers Ten Ten in my head with Group One with the scissors. Uh, the Ten of Voices or the Ten of Swords, this is like, okay, let me just go ahead and like meditate on this energy real quick. So there's something foundational that is, is being uprooted or needs to be uprooted right now. Uh, the Two of Inspiration, this is kind of like looking out to see, okay, where are we going to go next? Because obviously with this Ten of Materials in the Reversal, uh, this is either inwardly or outwardly, there's... A physical foundation that needs to be uprooted and then we have the emperor in the reversal so this is a rather rigid energy this is almost like this hesitancy to uproot something that's not serving you right now because we have the ten of voices right next to that and ten is about new beginnings but before you can have a new beginning you have to address the things that are not of value to you right now or are not currently server ser serving serving you right now 
uh, there's a need to admit the truth to yourself. And even though the truth can be painful, uh, it's a necessary thing to happen right now for you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into your headspace right now. What's going on in the headspace for group one? Automatically, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So we are coming into an end of a cycle for you, it looks like. The end to the beginning is what I'm seeing. Okay. What goes up must come down. This deals with karma. It's like facing the inevitable right now. You have the Ace of Material in the reversal. So, yeah, you currently have, you may have mentally planted some seeds. Like, there are some things mentally that need to be uprooted. Okay. What else is going on for group one with the scissors and their mental space? Eight of voices and the reversal. Okay. So, you see, you've seen these uh, mental blockages that have been holding you back. And it's like you're ready to... To admit the truth to yourself, to drop the burden of things that have been keeping you mentally imprisoned. Okay. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Materials. I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but in this card, uh, this is like a, it's like a poster of herself right here. The Queen of Materials is like the Queen of Pentacles, but it's like even though... Uh, she showcases herself in this larger-than-life way. And this is like reclaiming your larger-than-life mentality. Where in the past, you may have been feeling kind of, you know, self-esteem issues. No longer listening to the inner critic and to move beyond that is what you're wanting to go towards. This is seeing your self-worth. Okay, and let's go ahead and get to the heart space. What's going on in group one's heart space right now? Okay, we have the Muse of Emotions, which is like the King of Cups. So this is being in control of your emotions, your emotional state, or the chaos that's around you. Like you're... The words that just came to my mind was like, big boss man. Like, I'm large and in charge. I have the power. Uh... It's like you're the one that people may look up to right now for clarity. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm picking up. Let's go ahead and get some more cards. Uh, what is going on with group one's heart space? Three of voices. Okay. It's like even though you, you have maybe your heart's been broken in some way or truth has been revealed to you that was very painful. But the thing is, is that this truth has made you realize who you're not. Okay, so the truth has made you realize who you're not, and it's like, it's like that ripping of the band-aid, and it's painful, and you have to look at it. You have to look at it and acknowledge it. And I think that you have the strength to do that if you haven't already done that. Okay, what else is going on for group one? Also, with scissors, if you chose scissors, you're trying to cut things out, like you're nipping and weeding out things that don't serve you anymore we have the nine of materials in the reversal so this is this goes back to that self-worth and self-esteem maybe you had haven't been feeling a control it's like there's this desperate need to gain the reins back nine is about endings and it's also like with this card and the materials this is saying don't resist the transition. I feel like group one, you're you're really having to face. Like I'm hearing inner demons. Oh, at least two wanted to come out. So we have justice in the reversal. Yeah, with the three of voices over here. You may have experienced an injustice, or you've you've been in a situation where you've witnessed injustice. And we have the Seven of Inspiration, which this card, even in the imagery, you can see, like, she's pushing out the darkness. Like, no matter what's going on around her, she's pushing out the darkness. Also, with this uh, Justice in the Reversal, that reaping what you sow, karma. I'm hearing karma is bittersweet, but with this card... 
like you're the one who who is in control of the situation you're the one who who fights back all odds like the odds may have seemed like they were not in your favor but when you reclaimed your sovereignty and your power you pushed that darkness it's like even though the spark was very small it's still a spark you see what else i'm picking up this is really gaining control in a chaotic situation and this this could either be within you that you're not telling other people or this could be outwardly things that are going on around you okay see what else i'm picking up just don't be so rigid uh in this transition it's time to face the views face it and don't avoid it and i know a lot of people right now and this is something i was talking to my sister and mom about uh Toxic patterns can be coming back up, like things that you thought that you were done with. Let's say, for example, with me personally, I used to drink and I used to smoke cigarettes and I was so stressed out the other day. Like I was fantasizing about going out and buying a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> can't do that. We can't reverberate back to who we used to be. You have to shed the skin, uh, face it, face that vulnerability because in the sober mindedness of being vulnerable, allow yourself to feel everything and when you do you'll realize that in feeling what you're feeling you're actually strong for facing it with a sober mind okay Let's see we have the justice card over the eight of voices in the reversal i'm really getting the sense of karma for you which Mercury retrograde, anything with the words re in front of it, revisit, reevaluate, redo, uh, anything with re, that's going to be the themes for until I think June 22nd. So this could possibly be revisiting old hurts that you thought that you were over and cutting them out like scissors. Okay. All right, let's uh, get best course of action and advice. What is the best course of action for group one? Oh, dang. He's flipped out at me. So we have the sun and the reversal. The seven of emotions. I'm already, like what I'm already picking up is don't be disillusioned. If people come up from your past, don't be disillusioned by any offers. Realize that the power is in your hands. To not have, oh, that'll flipped out. Hold up. <laughs> the muse of inspiration. Okay, the word that I'm getting is like break out of the pack. Muse of inspiration is like the king of wands, it's fire energy and the imagery. It's just like very rock and roll is what I pick up, but it's like break out of the pack. Sometimes you have to break out of the pack. Like, okay, everyone around you or in your situation might have a similar mindset to where they're just dwelling on things that don't matter or like negative thinking or just heavy burden type of energy and the power might be in your hands to actually flip the script and to say another story against all odds like oh that's so powerful it's like against all odds like fuck that <laughs> but not in a toxic way of fuck that. It's like... I mean, the song that's coming to my head is We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. It's like that. Okay? Reclaiming your sovereignty. And if you don't know what that word means, uh, Google it. Sovereignty. And also, uh, look up angel number 1010. It's very relevant for you right now. 10 is about embarking on a new chapter and it's going to be unknown and scary my story a quick story real quick real quick uh the first time i saw 1010 i had actually become a born again christian because i was a raging alcoholic and you know god kind of put me on my knees and made me realize that i was living a very toxic life and so i i you know i surrendered i cried it out snot everywhere and i was just like okay 
I've let go of this old self. Now what? And I kept seeing 10, 10 everywhere. And it was freaking me out because I was like, why am I seeing this number? And then I was looking for a church to go to. And apparently the church that I lived right across the street from started at 10, 10 a.m. I was like, oh shit. Okay, here we go. So I started going to that church. And that's where I became a born, a born again Christian. And of course, I ended up finding out that that church was actually just a prosperity church. And even though that, like, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a, a quote unquote Christian. I just am. I'm a spiritualist. I think it's all interconnected, you know, at this point. Uh, but it was a, it was a stepping stone. So you're in a process of stepping stones, and it's like you're not sure what the next step is going to be, but trust that if you feel like you're being guided to something and you can't explain why you're being drawn to whatever it is just follow it just let it guide you because it'll it's a stepping stone it's not about the destination it's about the stepping stones to the destination okay one more card for group one Okay, one more card for advice. Okay, we got the Empress and the Reversal. This goes back to kind of self-esteem and self-worth. Okay. The Empress, she has the Midas touch. She Everything that she touches turns to gold. But it's in the Reversal. I feel, okay, the words coming to mind is like imposter syndrome. Not trusting yourself to make the necessary changes or to face what it is that you need to face. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the devil and the reversal. So this is good. This is good energy. Uh, you've addressed and acknowledged the toxic things that need to be cut out of your life. But it's like you're you're at this now what phase. Like, okay, now what? And I know there's like a story in the Bible where... Uh, Jesus talks about the uh, man with the spirits and the spirits, the spirit left him, but the man's house was empty. And the spirit ended up coming back with other spirits to enter the house. It's like, okay, if you hear scratching, that's my cat being bad, okay? <laughs> but anyways, but the point of the story is saying, like, Whenever you let go of something that's toxic, you need to fill it with something that is pure. If you if you let go of something that's toxic and you don't fill your heart space with what is pure, then you're gonna and like that spirit is gonna come back, but like tenfold. And I've had this happen to myself, so I know from experience. So get grounded into your heart space and to and fill it with things that matter to you. Because otherwise, that's, that dark spirit, that karma, that repeating cycle will come back into your life. And it will come back with a vengeance. And it's going to be, it'll be ten times harder to get rid of it. <laughs> okay? I'm just telling you from experience. Okay? Now, that's a little story for you right there. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to some, let's see. We'll get the Queen of the Moon Oracle here. See uh, what else is encompassing your situation. Uh, what is encompassing group one situation right now? Self-reflection and the reversal. Like I was just saying, uh, don't have you might have the reluctancy to look at yourself, uh, and it's hard because we, you know, we all have that shadow side of ourselves that we don't want to admit that we don't want to address. Uh, this could be whether it's like codependency, needs for approval, or like the word I'm getting is like attachment and validation and things like that. But there's this need to, you need to go within, don't resist the self-reflection. And when I say self-reflection, Mercury retrograde, like I was saying with the re-reflection, self-reflection. Okay, let's see what else we got. What else encompasses this reading for group one? And sometimes whenever you're embarking on a new journey, uh, 
you'll go it alone. People will fall away and it's like, oh, why am I by myself? <laughs> it's because those are not your people. And whenever you take the next step on your stepping stone, those people will be... Like, you'll have new people come into your life that'll help show you the way. That makes sense. But the next card we have is the Dark Moon, the Void. Okay. I'm getting that shadow work. Like I was just saying with shadow. That shadow element of yourself. This card with the Dark Moon, this is right before the New Moon. And so the New Moon is that new beginning, right? But with this is right before the new moon. So you have to surrender uh, things that aren't serving you to the dark moon. Like release it to the void. And you see how she's, it's like a pause. There, you need to, this is a time of pause and self-reflection. Address your shadow, the, the elements of yourself where maybe you're being toxic in the situation. Or where you're projecting like onto others an expectation of what they should give to you. Start to give to yourself. Start to self-reflect. Go within. Get grounded and meditate. Okay. Yep, okay, yeah. Some of y'all are resisting. Uh, we have assessing in the reversal. So in the upright, this is assessing like how far you've come. And it's also the number nine. Uh... Nine is about surrendering, uh, letting go of the old, how much we've learned up until this point. But it's in the reversal. So this is saying that there's this resistance to, and I'm getting self-reflected of the past, is also what I'm, I'm picking up. And don't judge yourself so harshly in this pause. Because there is a tendency for us people, you know, we, we tend to judge ourselves like, oh, we got to go, go, go and get shit done. But this is saying, like, in pausing, stopping where you're at in your tracks, like, there is no shame in that because that's actually very strong of you to do that. Because not a lot of people can assess their own bullshit. You know, a lot of people just keep going and they keep bumping into things. They're like, oh, I just got to keep going. You guys are like, no, shit your ass down, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Whenever you have this type of self-reflection, Face the muse. Face what it is, that scary thing that you don't want to face. Have that inner self-reflection and assessing. At the bottom of the deck, we have action. It's like after a self-reflection, then you can take action and uh, embark on an uh, adventure and a new beginning. Okay? Alright, we're going to go ahead and get some numerology cards. What else does group one need to know? What do they need to focus on? What does group one need to focus on? Do I have these on upside down? Yes, I do. Love partnership. So this card indicates either A, for you single people out there, uh, face, okay, this is for the single people right here. When you face, your codependency, nature, your need for validation, approval, uh, to be in a relationship, not wanting to be alone, whenever you address those codependent thought patterns that you may be having or have had, this is saying that that's going to make space. What, I, what was I just saying? Whenever you take away something that's toxic, replace it with self-love, self-validation, things that are of good value, a good rapport, it will be making space for a love partnership, somebody who reflects back to you your core values. Uh, but just in general, it, if you are in a relationship, this is saying if you address those same things, you'll begin to notice a reciprocation in your relationships. Like things will, will come into balance, so to say. Self-love is first. First, love thyself. Fill your own cup. That way you have enough to give to others. Okay, let's get two more. Make sure I don't have these upside down again. <laughs> okay, what else can I give for group one? What advice can I give to group one? What else does group one need to know? 
communication. Okay. So, oh, I didn't talk about the numbers on here. I'm into numerology. If you haven't ever noticed, you know, if you've been here, you notice. Okay, anyways. So we got 26 for the relationship. Two is about partnership and spirituality. And six is about balance, beauty, uh, domestic harmony, helping others. So yeah, fill your cup first before you expect someone else to fill your cup. And then we have 33. Three is the number of creativity, community, and it's three, three. It's a power number. We have communication. So uh, what I'm also getting with in regards to communication, uh, don't speak the first thing that's in your head. Get grounded first and assess why, why it is that you want to say that or get more crystal clear within yourself. Because if you come from a space of uh, chaos and aggravation and you're just like emotionally blabbering what it is that you're feeling in that moment you might actually have regrets okay so get grounded before you come up and uh, confront anybody or anything okay so one more card from the numerology deck what else does group one need to know You know what song that just popped in my head was uh that will you bite the hand that feeds you? Will you stay down on your knees for nine inch nails? That song just popped in my head for some reason. Don't uh like oh okay, big message for someone out there. It's uh don't just take it. Now I'm seeing, okay, this has to be a specific message for somebody. Like, I'm seeing a dog chained. Will you bite the hand that feeds you? Okay, so it's time to unchain, unshackle yourself from whatever it is. And you know what it is because, I don't know, that's just coming through for somebody. Okay, and we got the card of self-love. What was I just saying? With uh, love thyself first. Before you expect somebody else to love you. We have 61. 6 is the number of, like I said, uh, family, harmony, balance, beauty, love. And then we have the 1, which is about the self. In the beginning point. It all starts with self. Okay, and I, I feel like I've repeated that message so much on this channel. Oh, what was it just saying? Domestic harmony. Huh? 4 is about foundations and home and stability. 6, like I just said. Domestic harmony. Fill your cup first. Love thyself first. Before approaching relationships. But you want to come right. You want to come correct. Okay. And the domestic harmony card is saying that things will come back into balance. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and pick one affirmation card. What is an affirmation that group one can focus on? What is an affirmation that group one to focus on? Oh, the sun is coming out. It's, I've been, okay, it's been raining over here. I live in Texas and it's been crazy. I ain't never seen so much rain. <laughs> okay, what is an affirmation? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it flew out at me. Okay. Hope is the conduit for miracles. So if you want to screenshot that, mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> or you can write it down. Hope is the conduit for miracles. So be hopeful. Don't lose hope. Okay. All right. Anything else? I think that's it, you guys. Uh, if you liked that, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you soon. Please leave a comment if this resonated. And I'll see y'all next time. And y'all keep on cutting out things that don't serve me no more. All right. And we're going to move on to group dose. Hello, and this is for group two with the eraser. So if you chose the little eraser, this is your reading. So eraser, you think eraser, you think about erasing things, maybe cleaning up, just the I'm thinking, clean up term. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. Group two with the eraser. What is it that group two needs to know about Mercury retrograde? What is currently going on in this situation? What is it? This one wants to come out. This one wants to come out. Okay. 
What is currently going on with Group 2's situation? What does Group 2 need to know about their current situation? So let's go out. I don't usually pull, but... Oh! <laughs> I dropped a card. Anytime I drop a card, I, I get all dramatic. Look at that! I kind of dropped it! <laughs> okay, we have Temperance to the Reversal. The Nine of Voices in the Reversal. The Ace of Emotions, which is like the Ace of Cups. And then we have the King of Cups. Right here. Okay. Your current situation, things that are out of your control. Temperance, I got the word uh, temperamental. Acknowledging where things have been out of balance and gaining back control of the situation. A lot of voices. This is letting go of the self-sabotaging thoughts. Uh, the sleepless nights. Like what I'm feeling is like fresh water. I need fresh water. So some of y'all might be dehydrated. So go drink some water. Pause this video. <laughs> but this refreshing feeling it's like after the chaos just needing that time to just relax you know and also with the king of cups right here king of emotions i am getting the word clarity and relaxation uh where things were feeling kind of out of balance it's like you're gaining back your emotional sovereignty. Okay. It's like out of the chaos came some sort of opportunity handed to you. And it, it deals with the heart. It deals with the emotions. It deals with self-satisfied, self-sabotaged or self-satisfied. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the headspace just to get some more clarity. What's going on in your headspace right now? What's going on in group two's headspace? Cyclical. Topsy turvy is another word that I'm getting. Nine is about endings. You're ending an unbalanced cycle right now. We have the ace of voices in the reversal. There could have been something that came to clarity. But was word I'm getting is like out of reach. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see what else. What else is going into the headspace of group two? Did I say group one earlier? Okay, you have a lot of swords energy. We have the Queen of Voices in the upright. So this card, she... Mentally, you're getting clear. It's like crystal clear, cut through the bullshit. Uh, you're no longer taking things for face value. You saw past a lie that maybe somebody or something was trying to pull over your eyes. Which a lot of people are dealing with that right now. We have the Two of Swords in the reversal. Yet, yeah, dude, okay. There's a lot of mental energy. Uh, you made a decision to cut something out. Okay, what else? What else for group two? I say cut something out. Really erase something out because you got the eraser. Look at this card right here. Death, yeah. Okay, with the death card, this is dealing with an ending you mentally just, you're like, I'm done with it. I'm done with the lies. You're not going to put up with it anymore. You had to regain control of your emotions in the situation. This group is a very independent group. Okay, I'm getting like, admit the truth to yourself first. Admit the truth to yourself first. 
before you admit the truth to others. So that's a message for somebody. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the heart space. Let's see what's going on in your heart space right now. We have the eight of materials in the reversal. This card speaks about juggling different things. So in your heart space, like there's a lot that's been going on. You're trying to strife out between like what's important, what's not important. This is kind of back and forth energy that I'm picking up. What else is going on with group two's heart space? Oh, two A cards. What else is going on with group two's heart space? Seven of voices. Okay. Your heart might deceive you. I don't think that your head and your heart are in the same plane. So this is the seven of voices. I don't know if you can see this. But it's like this lady, she's walking right here. And all she sees is this beautiful imagery. But you see these foxes. And then like on the other side is like this dark, scary. But it's like, okay, it's like you know what the truth is mentally. Like it's in your face. But it's like your heart's kind of deceiving you. It's like you don't want to, like, you know what the truth is, but you don't want to admit the truth to yourself. Because it's painful. Because it would cause an ending, and you know that. You know it would cause it an ending. Okay, what else is going on with group two's heart space? Okay, it just popped out at me. We have the five of inspiration. The empress and the reversal. The justice in the reversal. Feeling like your heart has been dealt an injustice of some sort. <sighs> Let's see. So all that just came to my head is that heavy in your arms by Florence and the Machine. I'm so heavy, heavy, heavy in your arms. Okay. Okay, I said y'all are independent. Y'all be y'all might be putting on like this facade of being independent and strong. But like it's like in your heart. Like you've dealt with a lot of heavy burdens. And it's like you it's like your intuition is on point, but your heart deceives you and it's like maybe like you put on this facade of strength to other people. But it's almost like there a need to be validated that you're strong. Uh, it's like you show people. I'm sorry if this comes off as harsh. I'm not trying to. That's just what I'm picking up. Looks are deceiving. And that, that might be what all that glitter is not gold. Maybe that's what it is, is that you're putting on a facade, but really what's underneath is a need for validation. Because you feel like maybe others didn't tell you that you were good enough. And so you had to showcase it to the world and be like, I am good enough, let me tell you that I'm good enough. But it's like in doing that, you're trying to seek that. You want other people to be like, yeah, you're right, you are good enough. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But this is saying it's time to not have, like, don't have that, that hard facade that, like, I get, like, a shell of what you're showcasing versus what's actually on the inside. Let me see what else I'm getting over here. Yeah, I think that you've dealt with pain and injustice, so that's why you put on this hard exterior facade to other people. But it's actually, it, you might come off like you have high self-esteem, but really it's coming from a place of ego. And ego, when you're coming from that place, it doesn't last. It's like at the end of the day, you're left there with yourself. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some advice cards to see what, what kind of advice I could give you guys. Uh, what advice can I give for group two? I'm getting, if you feel like you need to cry, 
That doesn't mean that you're weak. Five of voices in the reversal. Ten of inspiration in the reversal. Eight of inspiration in the reversal. It looks like y'all are in this need to revisit something that was left behind in the past. Uh, maybe it dealt with unforgiveness with other people. Let's get one more card. Page of material in the upright. Ooh, almost dropped the cards. <laughs> You might feel like that somebody owes you an apology. When you live from that space of feeling like somebody owes you something, it stops you from moving forward to what's actually meant for you. On the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of material. So there's this need to stop in your tracks or then see how far you've come uh let go of of that need for outer validation and admit the truth to yourself don't let your heart deceive you and i'm gonna go ahead and say it some of y'all might not like it when i say this but nobody owes you anything sorry <laughs> that's just how it is nobody owes you anything you owe it to yourself though you owe it to yourself to forgive others because whenever you forgive other people for what they've done to you, that actually frees your heart and it opens doors to new possibilities and new experiences. So don't have, let your heart melt. Don't be cold hearted. Because whenever you forgive yourself and forgive that other person, it, it will, you'll be in your true alignment. If you just heard my stomach growl, yes, I am hungry. <laughs> also, like, I've also get this energy of a burnout. I get that word of uh, looks may be deceiving. You need to take the uh, take the mask off. Be true to yourself. Be true to others. Don't put a facade up. This is a time where you might be uh, feeling vulnerable. But know that this vulnerability is going to be the catalyst of uh, facing that truth. And because that's what you that's what you need. Usually I say, listen to your heart. But right now, it, your heart is being disillusioned by something. Because like you, you know what the truth is. I hope this message makes sense, because that's just what I'm picking up. Also, I'm picking up also, uh, things are not as they seem. Things are not black and white. They're actually gray. And now I'm getting that song, every silver lining's got a touch of gray. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some oracle cards from the Queen of the Moon oracle. What else encompasses group two's reading? What else do the oh, this one wants to come out? Assessing. Okay, yeah. You realize there you need to assess where you are on your journey right now. Assess everywhere you've came from, everything that's led up to this very moment right now. And it's the number nine, so it's a number of endings. So there's something from your past that needs to be put to rest. And it's looking straight at the seven of. Uh, voices someone might have hurt you or lied to you in the past or something like that you know and that could be something that you're still holding on to and that's why you put all this hard exterior and you want people to think that you're all right that, that message just keeps coming up the song that just came to my head is that song from uh, my chemical romance uh I'm not okay. I'm not okay. That's all. It's okay to admit the truth to yourself. We have sovereignty in the reversal. So you've been giving your power away. 
to people, past people and circumstances that no longer uh, deserve your energy. Forgiveness is going to open open the key. It's going to be the key that opens the door. We have purity. This goes back to that intention of why, you're, why are you doing what you're doing? Is it for the validation that you are enough? You don't have anything to prove to anybody. The only person that you have to prove anything to is to yourself and to God or whoever you believe in. But purity talks about your intention. Like, what are your intentions behind the, the, the things that you're doing? As I was saying, like, take off the mask and be truthful to yourself and other people. Okay. I want to get one more card for you guys. This bottom one wants to come out. Okay. Trust. You see, she is vulnerable in this clear egg. And then there's this duck with the, the nest right here. It's like... Yeah, you're going to feel vulnerable whenever you admit the truth to yourself. But it's like, what I'm getting right now is like, after you've, you've taken off of, okay, I'm seeing a person where they have a robe on, but it's like tattered and torn. And it keeps them warm, but it's, it's worn out, you know, like it, it's not appeasing. It's itchy, but it's warm, like it does the job. But it's like saying, take that robe off. And you're going to be naked. And you're going to be vulnerable. You're going to feel everything. It's going to be cold. Or it's going to be hot. You know, the temperature is going to change. But it's like, allow yourself to feel it. That way you can heal it. And then the universe will actually make a way to where you have a new robe. You know, think about Joseph in the Bible with his robe of many colors, you know. If you haven't ever heard that story, look that story up because that's kind of the vibe that I feel. Like, you know that you're special as somebody who is of value, but, you know, you had people who were either envious of you or treated you like you weren't good enough. And, like, his brother sold him off to slavery, like, because they were so jealous of him and he had dreams like he was special. And he went and he was in prison and then this lady was trying to rape him and he was like, oh, hell no. And so she told everybody he was trying to rape her and he got in prison again. And well, he eventually like he was like a dreamer, like he had prophetic dreams and like the Pharaoh or something was having dreams and he got him out of prison. He interpreted the dreams and lo and behold, he ended up becoming like at the Pharaoh's side. Like he went from being a nobody to a somebody. But yeah, that story just came up. I don't know why, but <laughs> but yeah, trust as you're in this vulnerability that something better is on the way for you. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have surrender in the reversal. So what I'm picking up for you is like, when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So you can never surrender enough, okay? Never think that you've just arrived, okay? These are my numerology oracle. What else can I give for group two? It's like you can erase the past, but it'll still leave a residue until you until you really wash your hands clean of it. The past will always leave a residue. Ooh. Okay. I was just talking about dreams. We have follow your dreams. Uh, stop looking to the left or to the right for your validation. Just follow your dreams. Eight is the number of finances, cycles, karma, leadership. And five is the number of change. Okay. So say so to follow your dreams. Reclaim your sovereignty. Don't give your power away to other people and circumstances from your past that no longer need your attention because you're not that person anymore. You're, you're a new person today. And if there's something that you want to go after for yourself, okay, we have the health card. So the number 71, seven is the number of spirituality. It's the routine. It's the spiritual tools. And one is about the beginning point, leadership itself. But this is, this 
whole mental thing that you're going through right now might have an impact on your health. So it's saying to focus on health matters, whether it's your physical health, uh, what you eat, uh, what you watch, what you're intaking uh, mentally. I'm getting for you. It's time to like turn off the phone and stuff and to take a step back and just to assess yourself. And I'm also picking up that you might be like an energy sponge to other people. And this is saying uh, detach from other people. That way you can really see like what's your energy and what's other people's energy. Because as a sensitive person, you might be the type who just you're like an energy sponge. Focus on your health and yourself. Okay. And we have the card of adventure, 55. Five is the number of change, transition. Uh, this is talking about it's time to get out of your comfort zone it's time to get more self-focused too yeah this this is a time to get out of your comfort zone okay so at the bottom of the deck we have rebirth so you are entering a time of rebirth and one is the number of beginnings and six is the number of love and care self-care love of others but first the love of self first like you have to give it to yourself first before you can reciprocate it back but with rebirth there is a pain in birth birthing pains and in order to be birthed as a new creation you know you have to let go of that that foundation that doesn't serve anymore and it like i was saying with that coat it's ugly and it's torn up, but it's comfortable. You've gotten comfortable in the uncomfortability. It's time to get out of that and to go on an adventure, which is going to be uncomfortable, especially if you're a homebody <laughs> or if, especially if you're more on the introvert side, you know, but doing things that are outside of your own comfort zone, spice it up is what I'm also picking up for you guys. Okay. Now, I do want to get some, uh, one of these uh, affirmation cards for you guys. What is an affirmation for group two? What would be a good affirmation for group two to focus on right now? This one wants to come out. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you can screenshot it if you can see it, but I'll read it again. It says... Uh, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. So really see where it is that you're holding that unforgiveness. Where are you holding on to that? I'm getting grudge. Uh, just forgive others and yourself for yourself, not for them. It doesn't disqualify what they did to you or where, you, you know, the past trauma that you came from. This is saying to... Go within and self-reflect on that. Heal it, release it, let it go. Do the shadow work that needs to be done. Reclaim your sovereignty. Don't give your power away to other people. Don't expect other people to validate you. Validate yourself. And it's going to be uncomfortable, but whenever you do that, you're going to just see how much you've blossomed and how different you are now. Okay? And I think that's all I got for you guys. If y'all enjoyed that reading, please like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, like I said with the eraser, you can erase your past, but it'll leave a residue. So it's better to forgive than to hold on to that unforgiveness because then you're just really going to be bringing the past up. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, love you guys. I hope you like that. Now we're going to move on to group tres. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Hello, group three, and if you chose the pencil, this is your reading. So when I think of the pencil, I think of what is the story we are writing for ourselves? Expression is what I'm feeling. Express, y'all say, okay, <laughs> that'd be silly. Let's go ahead and get into your card reading. Uh, what is it that group three with the pencil needs to know in regards to Mercury retrograde? What is the current situation? Things that might be out of their control right now. What is group three's energy right now? Pick this one. Page of inspiration and the reversal. I'm just going on the current situation. Six of emotions and the reversal. Automatically, I'm getting depleted. Uh, 
drained and depleted. Okay. Okay. False start. Three of voices and the reversal. Okay. And one more. Oh. Hello. You want to come out? Okay. Ooh. Okay, y'all. But bam. Okay. <laughs> so we got the Queen of Voices of Upright. And then we got an extra card, the Ace of Voices of Upright. So you had a burnout. Like, okay. I feel like, and I know this isn't really technically talking about the past, but this is what I'm feeling for y'all. In your past energy, you may have been. Blah, 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 blah. There's that Mercury retrograde, can't talk. <laughs> You may have been dwelling on a past situation, past nostalgic, going down memory lane, maybe not telling any other anybody else about it, kind of keeping it to yourself, maybe. Okay, the song I'm getting is, I can't remember who the artist is, but it's like a really, really old song. And the lady's like, never pine for the old love, warm, tender, and true. Never pine for the old love, go out and find a new that okay so it's like you might have been pining over somebody just so you let's message for somebody and we have the three of voices in the reversal so this is like a past pain a past heartache but it's like finally seeing the truth of the matter because the queen of voices she's she cuts right through the illusionment and it's like you're cutting through the illusion of the past and you're having this aha moment whatever the aha moment might be Okay, I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing a scene from uh, Pocahontas where, okay, John Smith is captured and he's about to get beheaded and she finds the compass from her dream. I mean, goosebumps talking about this. Okay, this is a message for somebody out there. Uh, she sees the compass from her dream, the spinning arrow, and she sees it spinning. She's like, it's the arrow from my dream. And... Grandmother Willow says, it's, it's your destiny. It's your path. Go follow it. And she goes and she's running. And then you have the drums of war and you have like the clash of like the, the Native Americans versus the, 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 you know, the settler people. And like, she was the catalyst. She was the forgiveness. She was the in-between between the black and the white. She was the gray and she, that's coming up for y'all. I don't know why I'm going on a tangent about that. But if that resonates with you, that's this is your reading, most definitely. But she was the embodiment of love, okay. Love and forgiveness. Seeing with clear eyes a situation from your past. Okay, let's just keep going. That's a lot of channeled energy right there. Okay, y'all. Oh. Oh. This is heart-centered for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the headspace of y'all. What's going on in y'all's headspace? I almost went into a little trance there. Ooh. You have the seven of materials and the reversal. We're seeing how far we came. And it's like while you're walking, you realize your shoes are, are untied and you, you got to tie your laces. Tying your laces, tying up loose ends. I think y'all are tying up loose ends. Okay. Okay, I'll take them. Okay. We have the eight of emotions and the reversal. Going back to something that was once forgotten. The Empress and the reversal. The death card. And the muse of emotions. I'm going to tell you, all three of y'all groups got this. This is staying emotionally in control of the situation, even if there's chaos going on around you. This is also what I'm getting is an internal turmoil. Poker face. Okay. So in your headspace, you're at a pause. Reflecting back on things. And there is something that... It's almost like either A, something that you left behind that you need to go get. Or B, trying again in a situation. Wanting to try again. And then you have the Empress and the Reversal. This talks about self-worth and self-esteem. Uh, which this is this has been a lot of people's energy right now. 
uh, identity crisis. Identity crisis. Maybe that's why Pocahontas was popping up because she was kind of having an identity crisis a little bit because she was she was between two worlds. Like she was between uh, what is what is her socially acceptable tribe mindset versus what her heart's telling her. And her heart was telling her, you know, that she was in love with John Smith. I'm just, I go by archetypes. So that's why these things come to my mind because archetypes are a reflection of what we want to express. So there's something in that story that I feel like you're resonating with, okay? So maybe if you want to go back and watch that movie again. But there's a shedding of skin, shedding of, of identity that you thought was your identity, but it's actually not. And you're in this moment of pause and reflecting and going back. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the heart space. What's going on in Group 3's heart space? You don't want to be disillusioned anymore. You want the truth. You want to follow truth. What's going on in uh, Group 3's head... Uh, Right, headspace, heart space. What's going on in the heart space of group three? Okay. We have the eight of materials in the upright, the hanged fan, and the reversal. The Six of Voices, and the Page of Material in the upright. So I see in your heart, heart space, you might be focusing on things that you, you know is a value and is going to build up to something that's, that's worth something in the future, right? But we have the Hangman in the Reversal. You might be keeping yourself preoccupied with things. And it's like, you know, it's time to move forward and to trust your heart with something. But there's almost this reluctancy to trust in the divine, to trust in God, the universe. It's like you want to trust, but you don't. You don't trust it. Let me see what else I'm picking up. The song that just popped in my head was I Saw the Side by Ace of Base. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. I think you've been trusting yourself more than trusting the universe is what I'm picking up. I think you have tr your, your heart has trust issues. So the message that I'm picking up in regards to your heart space is that you haven't been trusting in the higher power to provide. So you try to provide for yourself. And if you hit walls that way, like if you feel like, let's say that your finances go up and down, even though you put in a lot of effort, it's because you're not trusting that you'll be provided for. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get some advice cards. I think, okay, you may have been going through a period that was like really fast, but then now it's kind of like you're having this big slowdown, that's what it feels like, big slowdown. We have the Fool and the Reversal. This is uh, for your advice cards. So let's come out. Five of Inspiration and the Reversal. What else? What else is the advice for group three? What is the advice for group three? Okay, this wants to come out too. 
Okay, we got the two of emotions. We have the nine of emotions in the reversal. And the abuse of material or the king of pinnacles. Okay, let me just like focus real quick. Five of Inspiration in the Upright talks about not seeking, like, fighting or looking for validation with other people, like a competition. It's like, don't view life as a competition. And then we have the two of emotions, and I was just talking about, there's a story of Pocahontas again. This might be in regards to relationships, who you're vibing with, who you're connected with. What is it? What is it that I picked? What's at the bottom of this deck? The higher fit reversal. Okay. What you do might be unorthodox. You might feel like you're just an unorthodox person. Okay. I was getting that song, uh, Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. I was like, why is that song in my head? Higher fit reversal. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Okay. <laughs> you want to be a reflection. Like, it's like this alignment energy. Walking in alignment with your own true core value. Your truth. Even if it's unorthodox. So underneath the deck, we have the eight of voices right here. Wait a second. The hermit. Sorry. This is the hermit. But we do have the higher fit right here, too. In the reversal. So we have the hermit and the higher fit. So going within for your own... Uh, your own truth, your own answers. You're getting out of your head. Uh, don't be paralyzed by anxiety. I feel like there's this block, like this blockage with connectivity with other people. Maybe feeling like you can't find your your tribe, and you feel like like your wish won't be fulfilled. Feeling kind of insecure within yourself. Feeling like uh, you'll never find something that reflects back to you who you are. But this is saying to keep going forward and to don't stop, don't stop. So don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. And I can feel it like in my stomach. <laughs> yeah. There's always a reason for the detour. It's okay to go your own way, even if other people don't understand it. Have faith, have faith in God and the universe that you will be presented with people who reflect who you are. You need to start trusting more. Okay, anything else I'm picking up? Also with the views of materials, it's saying that you have everything in your arsenal to create the life that you want for yourself. Don't don't fall into mental anxieties thinking that your your dreams won't come true or that your wishes won't be fulfilled. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some oracle cards. This is Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to pull from. What else encompasses this reading? You are definitely going through a time of shedding skin, though. Shedding things that don't serve you. That way you can... It's like readjustment. It's like a... Think of like a chiropractor. You know, they pop your bones back into place. That's kind of what I'm feeling for you guys. Oh, shoot. <sighs> okay. The Unexpected. So, of course, because it's the unexpected, I can't reveal the cards because then it won't be a surprise, right? But it's saying to expect the unexpected. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a clue. It has to do with what I was just talking about with reflection. Okay. Okay, what else encompasses this reading? I think there's something waiting around the corner for you if you just trust. And I think that it requires you to maybe take some action. Beauty and the reversal. I don't know if I said it about self-worth, but beauty and the reversal. Is the, you need to... Okay, because in the upright it says that, like, yes, you are beautiful. It's, you know, it's a... Uh, Reflecting on all that is beauty around you. But when it's in the reversal, it's saying like you're not seeing 
the beauty of your situation. You're not seeing things for what they are. If creation is beautiful, if we're a reflection of of the ultimate creator, and if you're looking at yourself like you're not beautiful, whether you're a guy or a gal, whatever, then you're saying that the creator isn't beautiful. And of course the creator is beautiful because you go outside and you see all the trees and all the plants and everything. It's beautiful. You know, right now we're, it's almost summertime if it isn't already. And, you know, we have all this growth going on. I think, okay, we have extremes in the reversal. Okay, the extremes card is talk, okay. Uh, the word that's popping in my head right now is like impending doom. Sorry, a little burpy. Impending doom. You might have anxiety about things. I feel like, like oh, if it went bad this time, it's going to go bad all the time. This, uh, this card wants to come out. Nourishment and the reversal. You haven't been taking care of yourself. <laughs> There's this need to pause in wonderment of what is. Don't expect bad things to always happen. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have darkness and the reversal. Okay. So I feel like you might have been feeling like you're in the shadow period for a while. But this is like, hold, hold on to the boat. Don't give up. Because after the darkness, there is the dawn. You have been doing shadow work. If you, if some of y'all might be out there doing shadow work, but this is saying it's time to step out of the shadow and to start embracing the light more which you know when we get into shadow work sometimes we get just stuck working on those things like trying to address the issues about ourselves but this is saying like it's time to be more lighthearted and to embrace the softness is what i'm getting softness is key okay we're gonna go ahead and get some uh, oracle cards for it's the numerology oracle okay what else can I give for group Tris? What else can I give for group three? I don't know why Pocahontas is coming up so strongly for y'all. Uh, you know that song where she's singing with uh, John Smith? And she's like, come run the hidden pine trails of the forest. Come taste the sun sweet berries of the earth. Well, I'm just getting goosebumps again. Go look up that little music video on YouTube, okay? Have an appreciation for the beauty that's in front of you right now is what it's saying. Don't think that bad things are going to happen to you all the time. Give yourself some credit. If you came from the past and like, let's say you had a bad past or whatever. If you hurt other people. Maybe you have some guilt. Let go of that guilt. Forgive yourself. Okay. A piece of hair. But, uh, oh. <laughs> what else can I give for group three? Oh, sorry, y'all. The wig is getting a eyeball. <laughs> okay. I'm getting... Uh, address the... Before you address the speck in somebody else's eye, address the plank in your own eye. Oh, okay. Compassion, what was I just saying? 99, 9 is about releasing, letting go of things that don't serve you. Everything you've learned up until this point. And so 9, 9, have compassion for yourself, have compassion for other people. It's like, oh, here I go with the eye again. <laughs> I would put this wig in time out. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep trucking on with the eye. Thank you, my eye. <laughs> no, we got to pause and take it out, y'all. Hold on. Let me pause it for a second. Okay. I got it. Okay. That's a big message, apparently, for somebody. Oof. Dang. Okay. Yeah. This is a time to stop and to address things about yourself. Maybe you have already been doing that, like I was saying, with the shadow work. Maybe some of y'all haven't been admitting that to yourself. 
Nobody is holier than thou, okay? This one wants to come out. Okay, we have a lot of double numbers. We have spirituality, 7-7. Seven, seven. seven is about spirituality, but it's like the routine. It's also like the prayer beads, the mantra, those types of things. Compassion is spirituality. Maybe you've grown spiritually from your past, but this is saying to, if you are on a spiritual journey, keep focusing on that right now. Maybe instead of focusing so much on the material, start focusing more on the spiritual. Okay. Let's see what else. Can I get one more card? Ooh, they said two more cards. Okay, we have intuition. Another double number, 22. Two is about spirituality. It's like partnership, but it's also the essence of spirituality. So this is a combination of uh not only like okay two or eleven is like the essence of spirituality it's the buddhist it's the catholic it's the hindu it's like all of it you know it all has different paths that lead to the same destination but it's intuition start listening to your intuition more your intuition won't lie to you and i'm going back to pocahontas for some reason and this is in regards to your path oh financial discipline Okay, so four is about foundations. It's about uh, home, foundations, and structure. And eight is about karma. What we put out there comes back to us. Uh, if you've been frivolous with your money, this is a time to get grounded and have be more intentional in regards to... Uh, be more intentional in regards to everything in your life right now. Instead of just focusing on one area, make sure you're balancing both duality. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. Like I was saying earlier, forgive yourself and forgive others for the places that you've been. And uh, because everybody who hurts other people, it's like hurt people, hurt people. And that's what they knew at the time. So forgive yourself, forgive others. Uh, forgive it, for, blah, blah, blah. Forgiveness has been a big theme lately. Okay. Yeah, I think y'all are really embarking on a new journey right now. Y'all are uh, closing a chapter in y'all's lives. But it's like there's things from the past that need to be addressed right now for you uh, before you can move forward. Okay, anything else? Yeah, just make sure you're taking care of yourself because we got that nourishment card in the reversal. Also with the extremes card in the reversals, a message for you guys is also... Uh, don't overindulge. This is not a good time to overindulge, which I can be guilty of that myself because, like, I don't have no fixes. Like, the only fixes I have sometimes is chocolate and cake and, like, yummy, delicious things, you know? But yeah, don't listen to me, okay? But listen to me. <laughs> uh, don't overindulge in things that are toxic. Uh, make sure you're indulging in the right things, have balance. The word balance is really coming up for you guys. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get an affirmation card. What is an affirmation for group three? What is an affirmation for group three to focus on? Energy flows where my intention goes. Can you see that? You can screenshot that if you want. Here, let's take a picture. Ah! Okay. Uh, energy flows where my intention goes. So energy flows where my attention goes. That's y'all's affirmation, all right? I didn't read the bottom of the deck for the other people, but I'm going to go ahead and read this because I think that it pertains to you guys. It says, true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So I'm going to read that again. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So if you feel triggered in any way during this Mercury retrograde, it's a perfect time to feel what you're feeling, address, see where that feeling is coming from, where in the past, uh, like what past experience caused that reaction in you, like where you react that way to similar situations, okay? All right, I think that's all I got for you guys. I hope y'all liked that. If you did, just like, share, subscribe, and whatnot. I'd really like to see y'all on the team. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I hope that this gave you some clarity. And until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Ta-ta!